Howdy folks. Um what's up? <clears throat> so uh critical race theory is something that I've you know read a little bit about. I don't know much much about, but I still just want to briefly weigh in on the controversy about it. Um I think I can say that in some way I can relate to all the majority of people because of the fact that I literally don't know that much about it. Like I've read people talking about, or, you know, yeah, mostly read people writing about it more than I've read it. So um, a lot of this is kind of like a just a culture war uh, Rorschach where you just people just decide based on um you know where they stand politically where they're what they want to believe um you know like i think a lot of people on the right of course like who are you know avowedly right wing they kind of just lump in anything leftist together and especially if it's you know about racial stuff they'll lump it all in with other leftist racial um pro you know uh movements or things and um so anyway like i've seen some of the conservative reaction against uh critical race theory um and um and i've seen leftists also react against it and so i'm not really sure i think i've seen leftists or at least you know more like mavericks like non non conservatives like react against it um and i mean the thing is like there's it's there's every reason to scrutinize everything like basically you know like except people's like private lives or whatever but if it's like a public theory that's supposed to influence policy and influence society whatever it should be scrutinized absolutely and you know chances are it, it's flawed you know like things are flawed and most things are flawed and but arguably most things they teach or a lot of things they teach in school are flawed so i will i wouldn't um you know all i can really uh comment on are the facts that um that the stated purpose of critical race theory is valid um and the um and the critical race theorists defense against this kind of campaign against it uh has been uh has seemed to be very um very much i don't know they've said the right things like they've said this is not about white people being bad this is about, you know, things that, this is about systems, this is about, um, you know, uh, yeah, like, this is about institutions, institutional racism. Um, so, you know, whereas they could have, I mean, I'm almost surprised because a lot of times the, 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 the recourse on the left or the impulse is seems to often be to just be more you know militant about everything and in this case that there was a less militancy like in 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 terms of like racial issues and identity issues there's usually a tendency to just instead of finding solutions whatever a lot of times the, a lot of the left tends to just try to 
you know, notch up the hatred component of it and the kind of us versus them and everything. Um, which I think is more understandable, at least for people of color themselves, you know, black people themselves, etc. Like, but I think when you have, uh, you know, white people that are demonizing white people as a race, like as a like eternal thing, you know, like saying like, you know, you should, you should feel bad for being white. You should hate yourself. You should, you suck for being white or something like that. Um, like that's what, there's a lot of that, like on probably Twitter and just in the left. So this was the, the, all, pretty much all the response I saw from the critical race theorists, I guess, and, or, and from people defending them was not at all like that. It was just saying like, we're, we're not targeting the individual. It almost seemed like they were, had a specific emphasis to tell people, you know, don't get caught up like targeting individuals who have no power and thinking that that's the struggle when, um, I mean, who knows? Like, I both are important. Like, you know, individuals can definitely wreak havoc in some, in, in their sphere, but like institutional, um, you know, talking about institutional white supremacy, um, is something totally valid, you know, like, and it's certainly in, in the U S where, um, you know, lots of ways that the law was geared to protect white supremacy are, you know, probably still on the books. And even those that have been taken off the books were just only recently taken off the books and all the, um, the society that those laws created and that that system created is is still self-sustaining in many ways so um you know it does show how quote unquote capitalism and the economy whatever um among other things can be can be racist you know or can be implements of racism um, <clears throat> you know, like, I find that that's like, these are good things to discuss. This is not like, this isn't, you know, far from a lot of what has come from, you know, the identity left in recent years, which has been more about just demonizing everybody or just just any just culture war for culture war's sake almost like anything that would like divide like you know people racially and set them against each other was like seemed to be like popular in a lot of the you know um yeah like the modern left so yeah so these critical race people or theorists and the people defending them they seem cool so I've not read all their works. What I've read, I didn't see anything objectionable. That being said, like there might be a there I don't know. I would be surprised if they're if they're flawless. I'd be surprised if, you know, a bunch of uh white male academics or anybody really is gonna like create some huge body of literature that's going to be flawless and especially if it's touching on societal and moral issues um but so that's my stance like i just think like i would i i don't i can't defend really in some ways like i can't like be a champion for the critical race theorists because i've not read you know really anything of their stuff maybe some excerpts or something but not much but by the same token i don't understand people like freaking out about it like um i mean it's not that different you know from 
I mean, first of all, if it is done well, you know, like if they actually are being honest and, and uh, responsible and truthful, then it's just going to be more information that kids are going to have, um, you know, and yeah, like I'm not a huge, I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't want kids to necessarily, um, I mean, there are dangers, like, I'm not a huge fan of public education, I, I mean, like, I think it should be available, certainly, but, I mean, in the way that it's conducted in the U.S., uh, there is often, like, an element of brainwashing, so, the, <laughs> it depends on the teacher, it just almost always depends on the teacher, they have a lot of, you know, latitude sometimes to tyrannize over or be, you know, angels for their students like and so um that could be true with this you know like is there are there teachers who are going to give a f to a kid because he's like uh you know conservative raised conservative and he and he doesn't think you know and he has some kind of racist views or something and that don't jive with uh or maybe you know or maybe he's it's just some views that that some element of CRT you know maybe there's something that CRT might be wrong about but there's be somebody some kid that would call that out and then get graded down um yeah that's possible but that's possible with like almost anything like in public education you know there's like um so I just think I find it unuseful at, at the at least for the people who are raising such a din about this about the oh no CRT is coming critical race theory is coming for your children whatever like without like giving like one quote like just a quote I've seen honestly because um like I make a point to. I mean, whatever, I'm friends with people that are politically all over the place. So I see some of their social media stuff. Um, I've seen a lot of the, you know, like anti-CRT stuff. And um, like a good amount of it, you know, like, I don't know, I've definitely seen it referenced and post, you know, posts about it, like at least like probably 20 or more times over the last like, month or two and um or longer and um and i never see a quote i don't think maybe once or something but i don't basically never see a quote so um sorry so i mean the question is like uh why 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 um and this also leads me to another thing that similarly I don't know that much about it because I there's a book called White Fragility and um and apparently actually people on the left I think are have called it out as being problematic for some of the things it says about you know white people kind of an assumption that all white people are racist and I, I, I'm not really sure something like that but um but i would like to say that the title is like